Beautify is a great UI kit library for Vue.js framework. You can save time and effort using a kit library, provides a lot of pre-built UI elements like lists, tables, spinners, or even the grid. We install and configure Vuelify in a standard Vue.js application from scratch in this video. Let's start. The very first step is to run view create command to make a fresh standard Vue.js project. I call it admin UI, but the name doesn't really matter. Just select the default value, bubble and as lint, hit enter and wait for the script ends. The next step is install the development dependencies. Make sure you are standing in the right directory before you start the installation. In this case, you should add the following modules. Beautify Loader, View CLI Plugin Beautify, SAS, Node SAS and SAS Loader. Actually, the SAS and its loaders aren't required, but I prefer using SAS in my projects in general. You can leave that if you like. It doesn't affect installing Beautify. After dev dependencies are loaded, install the product dependencies. These are Vuetify, View Router, Roboto Font Face, and MDI slash font. View Router is not necessarily required, but I always use that in my projects, as I mentioned in the case of SAS. That's the same. Using View Router is up to you. After all dependencies are installed, open the project in your editor. I use VS Code. File, open folder, select the admin UI project and open. A quick check for the packages in the package.json file. It looks ok, so we can move on. Now we have to create a JavaScript file to register Vuetify as a plugin for the view instance in our project. Add a new folder called plugins into your src folder and a new file called Vuetify.js. I need Vuetify and view itself, no question. In addition, I just add the font Roboto and the icon set from material design. Import view from view, import Vuetify from Vuetify slash lib and import Roboto font face slash CSS slash Roboto slash Roboto font face dot CSS. I need the Roboto CSS file to load this font with Vuetify in my application. And finally import MDI slash font slash CSS slash material design icons dot CSS to use icons from material design icon sets. Every time you want to use a plugin in Vue.js you need to apply that through use function. My last movement in the plugin file is nothing else than export a new Vuetify instance without any extra options. We have prepared the Vuetify instance, it's time to add that to the view instance. Open the main.js file and import the object from the plugin file so that you can extend the view instance parameter list with that. Import Vuetify from plugins slash Vuetify and add that to the view instance parameter list. That's all. All Vuetify designed application have to wrapped by a vapp component. Replace the parent div in the app file with the vapp tag. Delete the unnecessary parts coming from the view boilerplate like the image, hello world component or the style from the bottom of the file. I don't need the hello world component anymore, so I delete the file. In the future, I'd like to render everything into the vapp component according to the root. The entry point of the view router is the built-in router view component, so add the router view to the vapp. Create a router folder under src and a router.js file. We also need a router object. Import view from view, import view router from view router and import homepage from components pages homepage. 
I usually add a default page in the beginning of the work to make the router creation easier. Call it home page and it's located in the pages folder within the components directory. The first page component doesn't have to contain any special parts, it's just something to check the router works properly. A template with only a title is enough and an empty script block with an empty default object. Back to the router file. Register router to the view ecosystem with the view.use function. Create a routes array with the first routing value for the home page on the slash address. After that, you need an instance from the view router with the following properties. Mode, history, base, localhost, 8080 and routes. It's a simple router. If you're familiar with the Vue.js framework, I'm sure you know what it is. Complete the router configuration with add the router instance to the view instance. Switch to the main.js file and import the router we created. Import router from router slash router and add router to the view instance like we did with the Viewtify instance before. And now you can start the application running the npm run serve command. After the build process, we can reach our application on the localhost 8080. Let's see what we did. It seems to be OK. Open the developer tools with pressing the F12 key and check the console. No error message. Just a quick refresh to make sure. Fine, it works. Open the Beautify library official website and go to the grid system page from the components section. Beautify has its own grid system based on Flexbox. Let's copy the first simple example. It's a grid with one row and three columns. Paste the example to the homepage component template. As you can see, the results will be shown up after you save the file immediately. There are two types of components in Viewify, one with only template parts, like this grid and the one with template and data parts. An example of the latter is a list or a table. Add other item to see how to use components require data as well. A simple list would be a good example. Scroll down a little bit and choose the dense version from the examples. Copy the template part and paste that into your grid on the home page. Here we go. The console says items is not defined. It's right. That's because list needs some data to render with, but we didn't add any data at all. Go back to the example site and click the script tab. Copy the data code snippet and paste it to the home page component as a data. Save the file and reload the page in the browser. The error message gone and there are the lists. We see three lists at a time, but it's just because the grid built from a for loop to the shake of simplicity. And we are done. You installed and configured Beautify in your Vue.js application successfully. From now, you can choose any UI items from Beautify and use that for your own goals. That's all I wanted to show you about the installation of Beautify. I hope you find this information useful. If you have any questions or problems, just write me in the comment section below. See you soon.